Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode for the Amazon review series. And this is the Five Joy Backcountry Shovel. So let's go ahead and open it up. And uh, we've only got uh, the couple things in the bag or in the box here. Uh, the first one is basically the whole breakdown of the shovel. It uh, tells you a bunch of different things that you can do. It shows uh, what the shovel looks like, how it's taken apart and all that. And then we've got the uh, the shovel pieces and bag and then it does come with a shoulder strap, uh, standard uh, like a nylon type webbing it looks like. Uh, now we've got the bag, the bag has a couple like pockets it looks like here um, and I'm sure those are for like the uh, handle pieces. Uh, we've got this uh, piece here with the uh, adjustable strap and it's got the uh, quick release on it. Uh, on the back we have two straps. They are uh, Velcro as you can see so this would definitely be pretty easy to add to any of your uh, Molly type gear. Uh, it does have a couple of uh, D-rings that you can use to latch from and then of course also if you don't have Molly gear you could always take this and throw it on, um, uh, feed a belt through it or something like that. Uh, and uh, it would work of course that way and then let's see about the product on the inside now this is of course a nylon bag and it is a pretty rugged heavy-duty bag uh, it's not it's definitely not a thin model it does have the velcro there to also help keep it closed and then we've got that piece there and that piece there and there you go. Now, obviously, it does have uh, an additional uh, opening here. That additional opening would be for the extra handle pieces to uh, increase the length on this. Uh, I believe you can get two additional pieces. Uh, when you purchase this, I think you can get a uh, discount on them as well. Now, as you can see, there is the, uh, the handle piece and uh, the shovel with the uh, extension piece on it here. Uh, the handle does come with a uh, small piece of lanyard there. You can see this is uh, one of the one of the multi-tool pieces that's in it. And uh, we'll go ahead and break this down. We can open this up, and opening it up reveals a nice little fire starter right there. Uh, and that's about uh, I'm going to say that's about an inch and a half long, roughly. So you definitely get quite a few strikes out of that. It's probably one of those ones like. Maybe around like five or ten thousand strikes, something like that. It says there's a survival whistle. Oh, okay. You unscrew the back from the flint, and there we go. There is a little survival whistle. Uh, now we do have the uh, other piece. You've got the tool and the handle. Now this is um, just that black kind of foam handle. Uh, it does slide off fairly easily. So uh, you could replace it if you want to, if that's necessary. Um, you could, uh, of course, take it off and maybe wrap it. Maybe you want to take and wrap it with uh, leather or something like that. Uh, you could, of course, do that. And that, that, of course, is nice, too, because you can kind of customize the grip. Uh, now you've got this. Uh, we do have this. It's a silicone cover here for this knife uh, combo. And you've got a bottle opener here. You've got a knife blade here, and then you've got a saw blade here. Now, this does feel to be a fairly sharp knife. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that just, yeah, that just shaved the hair right off my arm. Uh, so, uh, coming right out of the box, definitely, um, basically razor sharp. So, something to keep in mind. Definitely want to keep this uh, on here because we want to keep that blade nice and uh, nice and safe as well as we want to keep ourselves safe. We don't want to uh, hurt ourselves on something like that. Now the shovel itself here, it does uh, it does as you can see have a a uh, cover just for the the shovel blade uh, itself. It has uh, two Velcro straps and it has the Velcro all the way across, and then it comes off like that. 
Now it does have, uh, again, another one of those Velcro pieces. So if you didn't use the uh, overall bag, you could carry it just as the shovel uh, piece that way, and you could put it on your Molly equipment or on your belt, uh, just just using the shovel co head cover uh, here. So so there you go there. And again, this is the uh, the same kind of uh, nylon canvas that uh, that the bag is. It does seem to be a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter weight than the overall bag. So, uh, you know, something you might want to keep in mind. Now, uh, we do have, of course, the, the blade here, the shovel head, and that is covered. has this on it, and of course, it has, it's has been oiled a little bit. So, uh, so be aware of that. You may have a little bit of uh, oil residue that will uh, come off. Now, this does have uh, three locking positions. And the folded position like this, I, I, I've just noticed, it doesn't, it doesn't lock into the closed state. It actually kind of wants to spring up a little bit. Uh, but the first position, uh, if we want to call it that, or it could be the third, whichever, is kind of in this hook position. Now, to adjust and lock it, all we're doing is pulling this piece right here. We're just sliding it down and that's what opens it up so that we can turn it so instead of these ones where you're sitting there ratcheting it and unscrewing it and everything like that um, you you just take this and slide it down and it will i mean just a little bit of movement doesn't even move the the locking mechanism that's on here you have to get it to where it engages and then finish pulling it down the rest of the way so uh, it's not like you're just going to bump it and it's going to release. It's definitely not flimsy in that aspect. But uh, so there we go there. It's uh, now we've got roughly, they consider this a 90 degree. Obviously, it's not actually 90 degrees. This is more like about an 80, 85 degree angle. And uh, of course, you use this for uh, as a trowel uh, and in and, and an entrenching tool. Uh, the edges on this are beveled, uh, kind of tapered down and everything, and on this one side it is actually somewhat sharp, and that is because, of course, this is the side that they suggest you use for, uh, you know, as, as an axe. Now, as you can see, this isn't one of those super tiny shovel heads like some of them are. I've seen a lot, I saw a lot of them on there, and they were like four or five inches, maybe five and a half inches, and uh, this is definitely much wider than that. This is actually like a six and a half inch or somewhere in there. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it's, yeah, roughly roughly about a six, I think it's about six inch, about about six inches across all the way from 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 edge to edge there, which uh, that's that's pretty decent size. I think for me, I think that is about the right size for a uh, collapsible shovel that uh, that you would want to carry with you. Uh, now this is uh, it is supposed to be uh, a mixture of carbon stainless steel if I remember correctly. I think it was 440C. One thing I do want to mention as I'm threading in is these do have these little like silicone rings on them so it does keep it watertight on the inside uh, which is of course definitely good. Uh, if you're using the other pieces and you're setting it up as a kind of a survival tool, uh, maybe something sort of like the uh, the old Rambo knives where you unscrew the uh, the back end and it had like a fishing kit with some matches and stuff like that in the handle. Uh, same idea here. Instead of just having the knife in there, if you have uh, the additional pieces, you could put uh, some other things in there. Say, like I said, uh, maybe a small fishing kit, uh, some... Uh, some medical supplies, whatever. Now, one thing I am noticing is this handle does, this part of the handle, the grip here, does want to slide around a little bit. So uh, maybe something to take into consideration. This has got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, definitely not some super lightweight, cheap piece of aluminum. Uh, so that's, again, something to consider. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably about um, maybe around three pounds. Uh, I may be a little off on that. Maybe, maybe it's uh, maybe it's closer to two. All right, everybody, we're outside here. Um, I've got uh, a piece of wood right here. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. I'm trying to speak up just to make sure. But uh, here, of course, is the shovel. We're gonna go ahead and try it on a piece of wood here. This was just a piece I found laying around. Uh, it's pretty hard. Um, 
even though it's kind of worn away, it's, def it's, it's got some weight to it and it's heavy. It is very dry though. So uh, I know, I'm not sure if this is made more for uh, soft wood or if it's made for uh, cutting up hardwood and dried wood as well. I don't know. So uh, that's something to consider when we see, see this. I do have another piece of wood. This is just a, uh, was a piece of maybe like a two by six or something like that, but we'll try that out as well. So we have a little bit softer wood to try too. But uh, here we go with this one now. Mind you, this may spring a little bit, so it may not cut as well as it should, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a try. All right, well, that's hacking through that pretty good there, guys. Um, as you can see, this is solid here very very solid it's definitely a hard wood I'm not sure if it's like a maple or an oak um, my guess is maybe a little closer to a maple because it looks a little uh, finer grained so definitely definitely something that uh, it's cutting through it I'm only holding it with the one hand and then holding the stick with the other so if uh, you're hitting there going with two hands on something I'm sure it would uh, cut that pretty easily let's go ahead and try this piece out and see how this one works Now, as you can see, that's cutting that really well right there, um, making short work of that. And that's, uh, that's of course, going to be some kind of like a pine or, or uh, some type of evergreen. So, uh, so there you go there. Now, uh, let's uh, change it up. We'll go ahead and take a look at this and uh, see how it digs up a little bit. Um, I mean, it is a shovel. Obviously, it's pretty sturdy, so it should work pretty fine. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so I moved over to a different area here. Uh, we've got some regular ground. Now this ground's pretty solid right now because it's still pretty cold out. Um, so it hasn't thawed out and uh, gotten real uh, real soft just yet. This uh, top maybe half an inch or something like that's not too bad, but uh, below that it's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, me trying to push into it just straight away isn't doing much, but uh, here we go. You're seeing that lift that up out of the ground there. Yeah, that definitely can uh, can dig. This is definitely going to be a good shovel. Uh, definitely going to be one that uh, will definitely do you do some entrenching or anything like that. This is uh, this is going to do the work for you for sure. It's definitely solid enough. It feels like a regular spade shovel, like a full size. But uh, there we go. So I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, Another product here from Amazon here on World of Me and part of our Amazon review series. If you guys want to check this out, uh, there is that link that's going to be down there in the description below. And uh, while you're down there, uh, you know, shoot us some comments. Let us know what you think. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit our social media as well. Uh, when you're on your way down there, on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so that you can... Uh, like it, then hit that other button over here or down below to uh, subscribe. And of course, don't forget to uh, share it with your friends and as well hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Uh, all right, guys. Well, my name is Cougar, and uh, I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.